Okay, in this video we're going to look at Mendel's Law of Segregation. And for this model we'll look at a trait governed by one gene, two alleles. So let's say we have a male with this genotype, uh, big R, little r. This trait would naturally be hosted on a pair of homologous chromosomes. Let's say the red one is from the individual's father and the blue one is from the individual's mother. One of the alleles, we'll just say the dominant one, lies on the red chromosome, while the other allele relies on the blue chromosome. Both alleles have the same locus. That's their address on the chromosome. In meiosis, the DNA is copied, and this would naturally lead to the formation of four different gametes. If this was a male, then we would have four sperm. I'm not going to show you the copying process, but I will show you what happens to half of these sperm in Mendel's Law of Segregation. This law states that the allele pairs segregate, and all that means is that one of the alleles, say the dominant allele on this chromosome, would go into this gamete, and the other allele from the blue chromosome would go into the other gamete. This would not happen where both alleles went into the same gamete. This would not happen. So this would be the results of Mendel's law of segregation, big R, little r.